السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear student of second secondary today we are going to complete our unit of bonds and forms of molecules we have to start with Vesper theory or valence shell electron pair repulsion theory okay it's a very long name but we know that we have to complete we start with the kinds of bond ionic and covalent and this is one of the bonds that illustrate the behavior of the atoms in lone pair of electrons according to the lone pair of electrons if they are making a share or lose them but we can say this theory special for the covalent bond okay let's start illustrate some points or remember what we can conclude from the history of this one okay let's start okay. valence shell electron bear repulsion theory it's the starting from the previous that we have studied that lowest concept is unable to explain the shapes of molecules as shapes are different according to the number of lone bear or bond bear el of electrons so Vesper theory provides a simple procedure predicts the shape of covalent molecules okay so we can use this kind of theory to explain the shape or the we how we can see the covalent molecules in the molecule okay proposed by Sewage and Bowell in 1940 it was the further developed by Nelum and Glesper okay 1957 they are the history of the discovering for the shape of molecules and it is based on the repulsion interaction of electron bears in valence shell of electrons in the inside the atoms okay so we have repulsion and electron bears that present or forming the valence shell that we can see the electrons of the atom forming the shape of all the compound okay from the postulates of Vesper theory number one the shape of molecules depend on the number of valence shell electron bears okay so we have the valence shell electrons that bears that present in the valence shell so we have the number of valence shell electron bears okay the first one bears of electrons in the valence shell rebel one another since their electron cloud are negatively charged okay when we are talking about the shape when the shape increase or become larger that we have a big number of bears of electrons so they give forming a, an electron cloud that giving a high or huge cloud of the negatively charged particles as they make a repulsion for each other okay so the valence shell is taken as a sphere with electron bears localizing on the spherical surface at maximum distance from one another to minimize the repulsions okay so we can take the shape depending on what depending on the maximum distance for from one to another according to the repulsion force between the electron bears as all are negatively charged okay this pair of electrons tend to occupy such position in space why to minimize okay this shape or behavior or we can see it why to minimize the repulsion and thus maximize separation between them okay we can say that we have two things that giving the shape we have the position in space that minimize the repulsion and maximize separation between them also multiple bonds is treated as a single electron pair multiple bonds treated as a single electron pair and two or three electron pairs of multiple bonds are treated as a single super pair okay we have some postulates but when we take the examples it will be easy in solving them 
where two or more resonance structure. Resonance means that the electrons make a movement, okay, can represent a molecule. Okay, the VSEPR model is apli applicable to any such structure. Okay, any structure that has electrons or a huge number of electrons can applicable or can be accepted to make what to do the VSEPR theory on it. The repulsion interaction of electron bursts decreases in the order. So the lone pair, we can write it LB, lone pair. Okay, if we have the repulsion interaction, we can make an order. If we have lone pair and lone pair, the distance between them will be greater than lone pair and bond pair and greater than bond pair and bond pair. Okay, another in another way. We have lone pair of electron and lone pair. We have two lone pair of electrons that not make a bond, but they are exist in the electron shell level. So or the valence shell. So we have here lone pair and lone pair. The distance between them will be maximum. So the as they are free pairs of electrons, so they will give high repulsion between them so the distance between them will be the maximum greater than lone pair and bond pair and so as bond pair make attraction toward the new bond of the other element so we have here distance will be decreases greater than bond pair and bond pair bond pair will be very close to each other bond pair and bond pair as they are forming a bond with another element or another electrons from the other atom so it will be the distance here will be less so long bear long bear greater than long bear bond bear and long bear bond bear greater than bond bear and bond bear okay so here we have why long bears rebel more while long bears are localized on the central atom okay we have the repulsion force will increase is why this is the main reason or the main that depend on the central atom here okay so the lone pair will be or unbared or unbonded electrons will behave or will present or localized on that central atom whereas each bonded pair is shared between two atoms so if we have an electrons that or the atom surrounded by six electrons so we have here three pairs of electrons three pairs of electrons one of them bonded so we can make a straight line between the atom in the central and the other atom and the two will be long pairs so we have to say that we have a long pairs up and down starting as we say up and down right and left as we say before okay so these are the lone pairs that not forming a bond they present on the central atom of the compound okay as a result lone pair of electrons in a molecule occupies more space as compared to the bonding pair of electrons why give reason or explain why the lone pair of electrons more space due to what due to the repulsion between the electron pair bond angle so angle reduces okay we will see a lot of examples on the postulates of vesper theory okay so if we have a long pairs and we can compare the angle between the bond pair and long pair the angle between them inside the long pair or between the long pairs will be decreases or increase okay it will increase angle between lone pair will increase more than or take a space greater than bond pair as they have a repulsion force between the electron pairs that making the bond angle reduces okay so if we have here the bond pair between hydrogen 
and the hydrogen another one okay this is the geometrical shape in the space or as we can see the shape of the molecule so we have repulsion very great repulsion between the two bond pairs here so the angle will increase in case of between or in case between the two bond pairs angle increases between the two bond pairs so the angle here will be in ammonia molecule will be 107.3 degree okay as here the angle increases okay another one we have here between the carbon the methane molecule CH4 we have angle between them will increases more as the number of bond pairs increases so the repulsion will increase so the atom angle increases forming a big geometrical shape okay so I think it's easy to understand this okay so if we can compare angle in cases of bond bear greater than angle in case of bond bear and lone bear okay we have here this is the shape or geometrical shape in space okay let's going to some questions or mcqs to remember that we are saying for this postulates or these assumptions of valence bond theory number one number of long pairs of electron in ch4 and h3 and h2o are respectively okay we have long pairs i want to know the long pairs of electrons in ch4 okay we have choices one two three zero one two two zero one and the last one two one zero okay we have carbon surrounded by four atoms as uh, four electrons as it is tetravalent so it will make a bond with four hydrogen atom so there will be no lone pairs so it will be zero okay another one nh3 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 will have what will have three atoms of hydrogen and we will less or we will have one lone pair of electrons unpaired or one lone pair not bonded and water here will have two lone pairs as hydrogen make bond make two bonded or two single bonded two single covalent bond and we have two lone pairs rest unbonded okay so the right answer will be letter b the right answer will be letter b okay let's go to another question another question we have order of repulsion of electron bears okay i said it's easy to remember okay the first one long bear long bear long bear bond bear bond bear bond bear this is the first one will be the right answer okay will be letter a okay without reading the rest of okay i hope you enjoyed this part of questions i hope you can understand what is the meaning of lone bear and bond bear and we will continue the assumption or the shapes of the vesper theory okay i hope you enjoyed this part okay thank you and goodbye